What's going on, Internet? I am Josh from AR15.com. I'm here with Justice at the Duramag booth. Hit me up before we That's got me. here. That's me. That's you. That's you. <laughs> uh, what do you have for this year? Um, you know, I mean, we got a we got a little bit going on. It's just you know, we're always messing around with like fun little projects and stuff. But one of the biggest things that I, I've been really enjoying is uh, our new camo pattern anodizing uh, magazines. Hot. It is really cool. You know, it's it's been a really cool passion project. We worked with one of our anodizing partners that they developed a really cool technology to where they can do. Um, it's not just like you know, pattern anodizing, like where they're brushing it. This is an image transfer technology. So they're literally like, I'm taking a, a, a high resolution vector, I'm yeah. giving it to them. And, you know, for lack of a better term, they're making, a, they develop the image transfer paper. And so they, they print out the graphic, it's just the exact graphic on this paper. And then they put it into the anodizing process and it's a series of baths and dips and stuff. Sure. And then they pull it out halfway, they wrap it, they get it the scale right, and they just wrap it with the, the paper and then put it back into the anodizing and the chemical acidic reaction, this you know, is born? chemical X comes together. Chemical X. And it infuses the, the pattern right into the, uh, to the anodizing. And then it gets our same finish. So the cool thing about it is it's not anything special or different. It's still our full hard coat anno on all of our, it's the exact same finish technically as all of our other magazines. You're just unlocking no, the, the, it's the Call of Duty unlock. Yeah, stuff, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, we're skinning it out. And um, so it's, it's, it's pretty cool, man. What's so we're messing around with all kinds of different patterns yeah, and, and stuff. It, it doesn't feel like Cerakote. It doesn't, I'm like, this is, it's anodization. It, it gets it's the same very, exact, very cool. tef, uh, you know, the same exact process that all of our products do. So it's, like you, you know, can Teflon and fuse used in everything. And yeah, so it's durable. And nothing, it's, this is pretty cool. This is incredible. I saw this in M81 and I was like, oh, yeah. oof. Yeah, the only thing is it doesn't taste any different, which I was a little That's bummed bummer. That's bummer. It's, it's fine. But yeah, so uh, we did uh, a first run of M81 Woodland. Yep. And very surprisingly, very humbling, very thankful, they were gone instantly. Yep. Um, and we I remember sharing it thousands. on X and I was like, <laughs> I have to take it down now. It's gone. Like I'm gonna piss people off. Yeah. So it's it's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we did the M81 Woodland. We're gonna do more of those. Uh, it's not gonna be like one-time drops, but it's also not, you know, a, a standard item because you're not, it is you're not about to go labor make, like, Half a million of these, and then be like, well, now everyone yeah, that wanted them got like them. Production would shut down. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> it, it it takes a while to get it done. They're all this done one, by this hand. This one's hot. This one's yeah. So for my new samples, boys, you know exactly why this is cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the German dudes, we got uh, checking say, out some yeah. Fleck Tarn. We tried it out. I got this the other day, um, doing a, a nice tiger stripe. Just beautiful. That's beautiful it. finish. I think um, it's Taylor that has that backpack camo pattern. <laughs> He's gonna be like, I have mags for my backpack. Yeah. This is really cool. You also had a base plate here. Yeah, so this, this is something we've been kind of working on. It's a product that I, I just always wanted. Um, you know, there are pros and cons to everything. We always work with alloy, stainless steel, and aluminum because we feel that the pros far outweigh, you know, the cons versus like a polymer bodied magazine. Yeah. But one thing that polymer uh, does really well is its impact resistance. Yep. Of course, if you choose the right polymer, um, you know, we, we really still see, you know, huge, huge benefits to doing the body in a, you know, a hard stainless steel Deal, the rigidity, the internal air volume, particulate dispersion, yeah. yada, yada, yada. But it's like, how do we get it a little bit more user friendly? How do we make that interface with the magazine just a little bit better? So we created a, you know, a very, I think a very simple, clean aesthetic, very utilitarian. Um, it's not really detracting, but it also gives you a, just a, a very quickly identifiable, like, hey, that's our product. Yeah. But on the user side, it's much easier to grab. You have more stability. You have everything that you really just want. Out of. I think what's interesting, so uh, metal in general, like malleable or hammerable, or whatever, once it moves, it typically doesn't go back unless it's a spring, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so I thought that that was a really smart choice for guys that are just dumping the mag and you're hitting concrete or whatever. Yeah. You're gonna get a little bit more life out of these things. But I think also like as an index point, it's not obtrusive. You can imagine there's uh, ranger clips and things of that nature that you can end up dumping on these guys yeah. that you don't, this is a lot less kit mess, if that yeah, makes any it's, sense. It's simple, it's very straightforward. Like I said, I, you know, I, I wanted to keep it 
clean looking. But um, the cool, cool thing is we're going to start um, migrating all of our stainless steel. And the cool thing is we designed this to not only work with our mags, it'll work on our aluminum, it'll work on our stainless, it'll work on all of our other calibers, uh, but it also works on any USGI pattern mag that, that I'm aware of. Any of them that have the, the standard Stanag, you know, the, the tab pattern of the of the four tabs in the right location. That's super cool. Um, so yeah, like your, your sure feeds, your older OK Industries, you know, the NHMTGs. Like, oh, easy with the word older, yeah. okay? <laughs> easy with that. Um, so when are you coming out with the translucent steel mag? Oh yeah, so yeah, in the works? we've had crazy developments on, uh, yeah. you know, making steels tra uh, translucent. Translucent? I decided to go a different way. Instead of seeing through the mag, we just figured we would just camouflage it. So <laughs> it's like if we want it to be actually invisible, let's yeah, make let's it Yeah, let's just invisible. make it look like your background. So I appreciate you I guys. I don't know, I mean, it's, you know, being able to see through it is pretty cool, but it's just like, you know, <laughs> no, there's I limits to everything. Oh, no, I get it. Uh, I think it's really cool. I, I personally, in my, my prep pack, I like these just because I like it. These are also not going to be as they're going to take heat a lot better. These take getting beat up a lot better, storage a lot better. A lot of times they also yeah. sit much more flat when you have to stack these in a lot of polymer mags. You have to add bulk to polymer mags to make them mm -hmm. uh, have the rigidity so that you're not, when these things are getting torpedoed into somewhere, they're not breaking. Um, and a lot of times, oftentimes for weight, a lot of yeah. people are surprised to realize that these are oftentimes lighter at times. Than Yo, a lot well, the of aluminum mags for up. sure yeah. is lighter than most of your polymer mags, but yeah. the, the cool thing that we've done with our stainless steel is they're not the big heavy tanks that a lot of people yeah. think steel mags are. Ours are actually only like an ounce heavier than um, than a, a regular you know polymer magazine of yeah. whatever variety. Um, it's like 5.7 ounces versus like a, um, you know like a regular polymer mag is like four and a half. Yeah. So it's it's really it's just like you know this is is very negligible. Whereas people are always surprised when they you know they you pick, pick up the up. aluminum they know okay yeah this is aluminum and I hand them the steel and they're like this is <laughs> yeah, they'll do this. It's, oh, yeah. I was expecting more. That's pretty cool. I, I think it's really cool. I, I definitely think the Call of Duty kids are going to love this. Uh, I oh, for loved sure. it. Yeah. Uh, it hurt my feelings that these left before I could go buy one. Oh, well, but happens. be looking at those. Yeah. We be, we typically share a lot of that stuff on our Instagram and stuff like that. Where do you want them to go look? I'm just going to go to Duramag. So most of these are, are going to be direct through our website. Um, you know, and, and like I said, we're, we're going to try and do a new pattern or, you know, a really popular pattern and do a, a release of them hopefully every other month or every two months. Would you which take would be requests? Really cool. Oh, of course. I've had a bunch of people. Comment section, get at them. There you we go. We need requests. All the oddball, they're gonna be like, neon we, we, camouflage. Waifu weeaboo <laughs> is what we're going to have on one of these. I need that anodization pattern. But um, That would be pretty cool. But, you know, and there's also, like, some of our, our key partners, you know, have, uh, even on the, the first M81 run, they they picked up, you know, cases because they just they were like, we just want to be a part of it. It's cool. It is very cool. Um, you know, and for us, it's, it's fun. You know, it's uh, we're just passionate about what we make. So it's like, hey, we have an opportunity to make something super cool out of the product that we're making. Hell yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. So cool. Keep making mags for us, please. We need oh, okay. them. Uh, as, we were as thinking about stopping, but since you asked yeah. nicely. Yeah, please, thank you. Look, okay. uh, <laughs> crisis averted. I do appreciate it. Thank you for spending time with us. Dude, no problem, and, uh, man. Thank Always you for good hanging to see out you. This at SHOT Show 2024. Uh, I will see you guys at the next booth.